Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, uh, we got a JP data download. This is going to be the start um, of part two of the ninth anniversary. Uh, remember that the way the kind of the structure of the anniversary works is that part two will begin. Um, and then, you know, the banners and the main summonable characters, it's still a few days until they come out. Um, they did tweet out, I believe, a link to the stream, uh, which is going to be, uh, I think it's like 5 a.m. my time on the 14th, I, th I, I think, I think is what it is. Um, yeah, here it is right here. Uh, they did tweet out this link, so this is when we're going to be um, seeing the animations and stuff of the LR Gammas as well as LR Beast Gohan. Um, uh, I, I would say that there's a very good chance that the characters are going to release almost directly after the stream, which should be fun, of course. All right, so let's take a look at what's in the data download here. Um, we do have a few characters, four characters here. Easy A, uh, Free to Play Gogeta. We have the LR Awakening for Beerus. Uh, remember that this is Beerus Pajamas. He is a new named character. Um, we have the TR Awakening for First Form Frieza. And then we have the Easy A for Blue Cow, Goku, and Evolution Blue Vegeta. They seem very good. So, okay. Um, yep, we have those three. Uh, story event. Oh, that's... Wait, oh, that's in here already? That's the, the Pan, Trunks, and Goten event, I think? Um, the growth event, the link level event. Yeah, that's here. The super hot Saiyan battle. Um, the ultimate excite battle. This is, you know, for the Osaka fan meeting. Um, the, the stage two for that will drop, um, I presume, when part two starts tonight. Uh, Supreme Battle Spectacle, three more stages. Dude, this shit is insane, man. The amount of difficult content we've gotten. Just fun fights all over. I, I would not be shocked if... So, I believe it's Trunks, then Evolution Blue Vegeta, then UI Goku. I would not be shocked if UI Goku feels like uh, like the hardest fight in the game. Um, would make a ton of sense to me. Uh, and this is... Pr I mean, I wonder how deep this is going to go. I, I mean, this is... So, they skipped Vegito Blue. I wonder if this is going to end with Beast, or maybe they'll skip Gogeta as well. I mean, Gogeta did just get a fight in the, the Dragon Ball Super Movie Memorial, so we'll see. Um, these are the new stages for the Frieza Story event. Um, these are, of course, the stages for uh, LR Pajamas Virus. Uh, we have a burst one for the Angel Golden Frieza Dokkan event. Um, and then, of course, the easy for uh, Blue Cow and Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta. Um, so let's see. So here's all the new things that we've got right there. Yeah, the little water bottle. So that pain story event is, is just right away. Okay. Uh, so for starters, we have LR Pajama Beerus here. Now, uh, I don't know. L l let's take a look at this. So Mr. Pajamas Beerus, he starts with 30% damage reduction. And then it goes, he loses damage reduction. Like, he's just, like, he's terrible. I, like, this is horrible. Like, like, this is, I think, a good idea, concept for a free-to-play LR. But, I, like, like this needs to be 90% and dropping. Not 30. That's crazy. Like, he does nothing. I, like, it's just raw defense with a minuscule... That, like, just in case you guys... This is nothing amounts of damage reduction, right? Like, this matters if you, you're you full power Broly who has a million five hundred thousand defense after supering 20 times. Sure. <laughs> but guess what? It, Gripper's Beerus ain't that, man. Crazy. Um, and then, of course, you know, once he awakens on turn five, he just becomes kind of a generic character... Uh, we'll see. He, he's got the target all mechanic as well. I uh, he, he seems pretty shit, but I mean, he's going to easy a so so we'll see. Right. All right. So we have that uh, first form Frieza. Like, again, this is probably just mostly going to be the skeleton of his kid. I don't think he's going to be completed yet. Uh, two key 80 percent right there. 20 percent attack and events up to 80 percent. So he needs to do four attacks. Just two key for super bosses. He hasn't gotten stats for his support buff. I mean, he's got to get stats there to be good. Uh, when HP is about 50%, he gets the additional high chance to be a super. He has a scouter. Huh. 
Scout or if there's a pure Saiyan or movie hero enemy. Now we're talking. That's good. That's good. This is how you make a good free-to-play character right there. Now, of course, he needs a little bit more, but that is good. A super boss's support character with a scouter make it conditional against types of enemies. But, you know, we know, okay, we're fighting a pure Saiyan. I mean, we could bring this free-to-play Frieza and we got the scouter. That's not bad. I kind of like, I, I like that idea. That th This is a good way to design a free-to-play character right here. Same with Beerus. Like, I, kinda, I like the ideas they have with them, but they're not quite good enough. Yeah, he doesn't have defense yet there. That's just not good. Um, huh. All right, all right, all right. We'll see, though. I think Beerus and Frieza have real potential. They do. I think after their easy A's, they could be very interesting characters. Not bad, not bad. Uh, then we have the Gogeta. So he does have his own easy A medals. I, I like, I, I, it's just going to be just a login. Is he going to be a login? He's like, like, like part two starts and they just give us the medals. Uh, 99%, 19% attack needs for each key sphere of co obtained. Okay. Uh, if there's a superhero, movie hero ally in the attack besides yourself, get another 9% for each key sphere obtained. When attacking, okay, so multiplicative buff. Uh, but then five or more key spheres, he's super effective against all types. And then nine key spheres, he guaranteed crits. Yeah, no, I mean, he looks very good. This looks very good, but I'm talking about, like just card art in general. Like, this is my, my data page right now. It looks really good. No, I, I mean, he would need... Th this is fine. I think if you also threw this guy 50% dodge or 60% dodge or something like that. And then remember, he does have the the, the little bit of dodge right there. That That's not enough, though. Yeah, if you could... If, if they would have just given this guy, like, 50% dodge on top of what he's got, like, he's at least something. He doesn't seem very good, though. Yeah, he, that's a true free to play character right there. Okay, yeah, I, I I'm not sure how we're gonna easy a him. I assume just it might just be in our gift box uh, when part two begins. Uh, new transformation labels. This is talking about Beerus when Beerus is in his sleep mode. Uh, here's the pan story event category bonus drop superhero and super bosses. Uh, again, we'll be able to grind up the water bottles. We'll see like what types of things we can get with that. Uh, this is, oh, there's two stages. Okay. Uh, so stage one is against Kefla. Stage two is against Blue Goku. Okay. Um, so we saw the way it was. How was it during the worldwide? I think was stage one anything and stage two had to be future category. So perhaps maybe it would be like Realm of God is stage two or Sa pure Saiyan or superhero or something like that maybe okay that, that looks good though uh these link level events obviously very good uh we have the ultimate excite battle looks like it's going to be against either gogeta or broly um must be the uh, enemy that we'd be fighting there i guess it could be golden frieza as well maybe uh then of course there's the three supreme battle spectacle stages trunks evolution blue vegeta and then ui goku they do skip over blue vegeto so, I mean, we'll we'll see. Um, obviously, a Blue Vegito fight at some point could be pretty good. I mean, they could very easily just do, like, a future, um, you know, Supreme Battle Spectacle or whatever. Because the one... Yeah, it, it, right now, it's just Dragon Ball Super Edition, right? But think of Golden Free... Golden Freeze was passed up twice. There was a Movie Red Zone with no Golden Freeze stage. There was a Wicked Bloodline Red Zone with no Golden Freeze stage. And then the second Movie Red Zone, that was when Golden Freeze finally got his stage. So they could do a couple Supreme Battle Spectacles where they skip over like Vegito or something like that. Uh, I, I expect these to be pretty tough. Um, I, I, I do anticipate that these are going to be really hard. Uh, it should be fun. Should be fun. Very much looking forward to that. Uh, here's the new stages. Uh, looks like this is Resurrection F time. Uh, that's when, when the stuff's taking place. Uh, then, of course, here is the Beerus event. Um, this is, again, where we get the Pajama Beerus. Looks like Resurrection F, Universe 6 for 7. 
Universe 7 Victory Par- Party. Is this the Monica outfit stage? Might be what that is. Uh, again, burst mode for the Angel Golden Freeze at Dokkan event. Uh, Blue Kaioken Goku Evolution Blue Vegeta. Weak to Realm of Gods. So that's going to be another painfully easy, easy A. Now, these boys, by the way, I, I don't know how much I like them in comparison to other people and stuff like that. They're certainly a ridiculously busted EZA. I imagine they're probably the highest damaging character in the game right now, I think. Um, because it's like, when you're just talking about these guaranteed crits, um, which they're pretty easily able to get, where is it, a 24 key right here, uh, this is really what pushes them to a different level, considering you're talking about a character that will do, you know, 20 million attack stats, you know, then they, they go into a 13, into a 14, into a 15 type shit. But then they have all these additionals built in. You need rainbow orbs, but then they create their rainbow orbs. And you guys know what I always say, rainbow orb changing. I mean, you oftentimes can create rainbow, or like a rainbow orb changer will be able to create orbs for the whole rotation to eat off of. It's just such a strong, like the fact that they're a rainbow orb changer, it just makes these things become consistent. 24 key, you know, multiple rainbow orbs. So you have multiple additionals to the high chance to be a super. They're pretty good. Um, I don't really mind so much that like a big boss super could wipe them out. I mean, this is not a new summonable character or something like that. I, they, I think, should be able to fulfill the role you want them to pretty well. Like, like, that's the thing. They'll be able to fit the role they need to um, very well. I don't know if I if I think they're the best EZA in the game. It Certainly, I mean, the best, the three best EZAs in the game are the last three EZAs we've gotten during the ninth anniversary. Uh, STR UI, Broly Chili Limo, and then this character right here. Um, so we'll see. But, I mean, this is another huge buff to, like, superheroes and stuff like that. Uh, I like what they're providing. Again, I'm not really too sure where I have them in terms of, like, a top 10 or something like that. Um, but I, I, I do really like them. I think they're an explosive character. Um, so that looks pretty damn good right there. So there's that. Um, here's the mineral water, which we can grind up. And, again, we can exchange at uh, Baba's shop. Uh, we have the title screen, which, of course, looks fire as hell with uh, Beast, Orange Pickle of the Gammas, and Cell Max right there. Uh, the super theme is playing. That's not or like a. I don't think that like gets like super copyrighted. That's good. Uh, then we got some scripted assets. Oh, you have Blue Goku getting shot by the laser. Got to be what that is right there. Uh, there's Sorbet. Eventually, we're gonna get like a Sorbet card in some fashion. I'm sure. Um, and just a bunch of other story event assets. So there we there we go. There is the part two data download. Remember, a lot of other part two things are going to happen uh, on the 14th um, once we get the actual stream. Um, and I'm sure there probably is going to be potentially another major EZA character, like a Dokkan Fest or an LR or something like that, potentially EZAing maybe even a few days after Beast and the Gammas come out. And then, of course, there's also part three next week. Uh, well, actually, uh, part three, I think, is probably going to be, like, the 19th, like, in this range right here, probably. Um, I, I could double-check on the exact date, but I imagine it would be in this range right here. So, let me know what you guys think, but uh, ninth anniversary, you know, with LR Beasts and the Gammas on the horizon, stuff like that, ninth anniversary definitely shaping up to be the best celebration in Dokkan history, uh, by far, by far, by far.